four, I believe. No miles today, zero day today with the family still at the, uh, at the RV place. We, let's see, we um, went into Julian because we don't have service here, went into Julian, checked our messages, um, ate at the cafe there, had lunch, super good, and then got a pie at uh, Mom's Pie place or whatever, it's a bakery or whatever. I brought it back. We got laundry done. We got, um, we do a weekly um, stuffed animal picture um, with both our boys, uh, Hobbs with Atlas and Chewy with Phoenix. So we got that picture done. While I'm here, it's just easier. Both. These are here. Um, we've been surrounded all day. Let me see if I can. I can't flip it around. We're surrounded all day by the park, dark clouds. Pretty much all sides. But besides going into Julian, where it did rain, hasn't rained at all. So I've been like, oh, I should be out there hiking. But um, probably where I was at, Mount Laguna, in the Julian area, I would have got rain today and everything was wet. So I had a chance to dry out my tent, dry out my footprint, dry out my uh, all my rain clothes, got everything clean. So uh, the plan is to start tomorrow um have megan the boys whenever they get up take me back to mount laguna where they pick me up and i'll take off from there um it's about 30 miles i had left to get back to here so i'm going to split that into two days 15 mile days about a little bit less i think so that's more you know that's more doable than trying to do the 20s i was doing before and then worst case scenario even if i get rain tomorrow at least my tent and everything is dry so that'll be easy um and then by the next day they'll be picking me up, um, or I'll be actually not picking me up, I'll be meeting them here. So even if I'm soaking wet that night, I don't have to worry about it if rain comes, because I think it's 60% chance or 50 tomorrow, and then 40 the day after. Um, then the plan is we couldn't really find any place to, to, to take the RVs close to Warner Springs. The next place was like Idlewild, and the roads from here to there were a little iffy driving the trailer, and we're brand new to it. Plus, they're, they're predicting snow um, next week, I think Tuesday, starting Tuesday through Thursday. So the plan is to, um, I'll cut, get here and they'll drop me off tomorrow. I'll hike for two days, I'll get back here. Um, then I'll hike out, I'll hike to a little beyond Warner Springs. I think it's like Paradise Cafe or something like that. I think that's another, I don't know, 15, I wanna say from here, something like that, not too bad, a one day easily doable. And then have them come pick me up on that day and bring me back here. And then we'll hook up the trailer, we'll leave here, I think that'll be Tuesday. We'll leave here, and instead of going towards Idlewell, I think we'll go the other direction towards, I think, the Salton Sea or something like that, up by Joshua Tree. Some areas in there we'd like to check out, so if it is rainy or snowing, I can kind of do that with them while it is, while we wait for the weather to blow off, and then it looks like by Friday or Thursday of next week, weather should be good again. So. Um, I think Palm Springs were looking at an RV place. We looked at one in Idlewild, but the roads both ways getting in are look a little iffy from the map, and we don't want to risk driving it with the trailer just because we're so new to it, and it's kind of freaky. So we're looking at a place maybe in Palm Springs, and then once we get established there, um, then she would drive me back to Paradise Cafe, and I'd hike from there into Idlewild or somewhere around San Jacinto. I'm not sure. We have to look at the map and figure that out, and then pick me up from Palm Springs in that area. Um, I think that'd be a multi-day though. I think that's what we're looking at a three or four day or something in that section But hopefully that's after next week after the weather is cleared. So it's gonna be a short video We didn't do much today. It's hard. It's hard to film with the boys or do anything like that I plan to later on get them more of the videos. It's just this is also new and um, Making time for that on top of everything else when we're trying to learn what we're doing um, and it's stressful so We'll get them in there. We'll get more of what we're doing on a day-to-day -day in there as we go. But this, I'm just trying to keep it simple. And we didn't do much, so I didn't film much. Um, plus, I don't want to make super long videos anyway. So, end of day four, should get back on the trail tomorrow at some point. Um, I don't think it'll be super, super early. So, I'm just going to, you know, sleep as long as we can before the boys are up. And then not rush. Probably get showers again. Shower again today. That was nice. Probably get showers again in the morning. And then... Um, yeah, drop me off, I don't know, 10, noon, something like that. But still should be plenty of time to do 15. And even if I don't do 15, I can push a little further the next day to get here. 
Um, plus, they can always come pick me up. Um, I think it's like a mile or two down the road from here, so I don't have to walk all the way here um, two days from now. So that is the plan, and that is it for today.